Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Let's Go server. My name is Dave and I'll be host for this episode as always. Today we will fight this Nidoran with a bit of a quick attack and we will also work on our team for the tournament. Now, as a heads up, I might not be able to actually make it to the tournament, I have just figured out. Um, because it seems to be on a Thursday and I have band practices on Thursday in the night till 11 p.m. So I'm usually at home at like 1 a.m., half 1 a.m. Friday morning. So that might be a problem, but uh, we'll prepare nonetheless. We'll prepare nonetheless. I'm learning a lot in the process. And... Um, I'm not just learning things about the game, I also learn things that, like how to apply things that I kind of should know. For example, I asked you how I would go about getting, you definitely do not belong there, um, getting the two perfect IVs uh, from my um, Shroomishes onto a Pokemon and the nature from the other Pokemon on, onto the offspring. And you have told me, Destiny Knot. And yes, I am aware that a Destiny Knot um, ensures that five IVs from the parent holding it will get transferred to the offspring. I, I didn't actually realize how to apply it, though. I now understand. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out to me. I am a massive idiot, as it turns out. Let's see. We have a shroomish here. Is that one of the good shroomishes? Let's do a slash IVs six. And this one has perfect speed IVs and perfect attack IVs. So what we can do with this is give it the destiny knot. And there is a one in five chance that one of these will not be transferred over to the offspring. We give the other parent the female in this case, an Everstone, which will ensure that it will uh, pass off the um, uh, nature, the jolly nature. But, I mean, when we're going along with the Destiny Knot, transferring the perfect IVs from this one, why don't we use one of our other perfect IV uh, shroomages? We've just ruined the EVs on this one. I mean, we can use our berries, whatever. Yeah, um, our other perfect IV shroomages, and pass on the perfect IVs of that as well. I mean, we have them. We might as well, right? So, what we can do is we take the perfect IV shroomish that we have over here, and then we take um one of these. Like, let's let's have a look. What does this one have? IV one. This one has perfect attack IVs. We already have that. Not you. Let's see, have a look at this one. Um, perfect speed IVs. We already have the the that one. Uh, I'll have a look at this one. This one has perfect special defense IVs. We can transfer that if we give it the right power item, which is a power band, and we'll give the power band to this one with the perfect special defense and the destiny knot to the other one with the two perfect IVs, and like this, we have a. 1 in 5 chance that the perfect IVs of this one will be transferred to this one. Now it's only 1 in 5, but uh, it's uh, I think it's worth it, right? I mean, 1 in 5 is the same chance that we have to not get the right ability, I think it was, right? Oh wait, the Everstone, does it transfer ability or nature? I forgot. I Climb this egg, and we'll tell these guys to give it a rest. Nope, and you go out. Uh, wait, are these actually male and female? I didn't check. Uh, let me put it on that. Oh, they're both male. So much for that. Um, do I have a female shroomish with the right IVs? However, what we can do is we can use our Ditto, which has the perfect uh, defense IVs, as we know, and give it a power belt. The thing is, 
we don't have a power belt. I just visited Tilted, and guess what she's not selling? Power belt. So, that's a problem. I guess we'll have to get uh, lucky with this one, and hope this one is female, with the perfect IVs. Never mind, I actually have one. I'm glad I checked over here. Take this stuff with us, and we'll see if we have more power items. I don't think there are any in here. I'm pulling them together currently to see how much of what I have. And none in here. Okay, but we do have the power belt. That is all we need. So our shroomish with the destiny knot and our ditto with the power belts. Well now make babies and there is oh look at how happy Ditto is. Um and there's a one in five chance that the IV that the Shroomish will pass on with uh, well, that the IV that Shroomish will not pass on uh, thanks to the destiny knot is the one that Ditto can pass on, the defense IVs, and then the offspring will have perfect defense IVs, perfect attack and speed IVs. First though, I'm pretty sure we'll have to Change the environment for Ditto. Let's get some wall down. Well, that shall work. Uh, we'll see how many eggs we'll need until we got what we want. Our shroomish over here actually is female. Uh, which is a start, but it doesn't really help us. I mean, to utilize the female shroomish right now, we'd have to breed this one with the other shroomish that had like the perfect other thing, like this one. Um, that had the perfect special defense, and then we'd have to breed that with the ditto, and, uh, well, you, you know, we'll just work on this for now. We'll just work on this for now. In the meantime, while we wait for that egg, I will go ahead and transfer all my TMs that I have into our storage building, and... Uh, I think I'll sort them by number, maybe? Eh, uh, that doesn't sound like fun. Might do that. We'll have to see how many there are. A quick look onto the wiki page has told me that there are a hundred and seventy-four TMs and then a, um, about a dozen HMs, I think. So, if we were to sort them into chests like reserve, like this one, TM1, TM2, TM3 and so on, um, we would need seven chests. So, th about that much, except for one chest, for all of that. Um... How about now? So, what I thought, well, it, it's too much room, I don't want to take it, uh, up that much space just for TM. So what we'll do is we'll use shocker boxes. We'll have, um, there are 27 spaces in one shocker box, so this will be 1 to 27, then 28 to whatever, and we'll have 7 shocker boxes for all the TMs. One for HMs, and then whatever TMs the last 12 that don't fit into the um, boxes, it should be in the seventh one, uh, we'll just put that into the, the chest where we have all the shulker boxes in there. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, it means that we'll have to clear seven shulkers, um, just to store our TMs. I think that's reasonable though since uh, farming these is actually not that hard. I wonder if I still have shulker shells lying around. Uh, I don't know. But we might go back into the end and get some more shulker shells. But yeah, I'll have... I gotta get going sorting this stuff. It's getting ridiculous, so... I think this, this is a good thing to do. I have the first egg from our Ditto and Shroomish combination, and as you have been pointing out, you can actually check the IVs when it's still an egg, and you can see here that this one did not get... Oh, it actually did get the... Wow! It has three <laughs> perfect IVs. And HP IVs are decent, I guess. So... This one's a keeper, I think. We'll hatch this one. We'll give it the destiny knot. We'll get ourselves a jolly shroomish. And then we'll we'll have a pretty good breloom. If it has the right nature and the right um um ability, but we can we can work on that. This are all the TMs that I own. Looks like a lot, right? I know it doesn't. But in here we have TMs 1 to 27 and so 
on. They all go to 162 in here. Then there are 12 more. Didn't fit in here. Uh, we'll just put these TMs into there. And then down here we have the HMs that I have. For some reason I have defog twice. And I had a whirlpool already at the old place. So uh, that's pretty cool. I am super happy about the fact that our first egg we got from these guys actually has the right um the right ivs i don't know if it um is guaranteed to get the right ivs if one has a held item to pass on one certain iv and the other one has a destiny knot which leaves out one iv that they sync up but i thought that the destiny knot would just take um priority over the other held item uh, but apparently it whatever the case is we got pretty lucky with that that's awesome. Let's quickly hatch this uh, shroomish. Should go pretty fast. It's been in this stage for a while. Probably just tour around this this hill once, and then we'll have it. It will hatch right now. As I'm approaching the breeding area, it will hatch. You'll see. Have you noticed that I keep saying hedge like like bushes? <laughs> Or stuff like that, like a, like a hedge, instead of hatch, like what you do with with eggs, or what eggs do. Eggs hatch; they don't hedge. Kind of weird. Um, the berries, yeah, it's still the same deal that we had the last few times. So what I'll do is I'll take some of the berries and we'll plant them somewhere else and just see if they grow at all. If we can get them to grow, and we'll see what is different. I mean, for this one, for example. I'm still flying around to, to hatch the egg. Uh, to hatch the egg. Uh, but for this one, for example, um, every berry is kept up like two blocks above it. And that might keep it from growing. I don't know. It might. M maybe it doesn't, but we'll we'll see. Over here, that that's not the case. Uh, let's see. It has poison heal and it's calm nature, so we only need different nature on it. Perfect. Um, over here, there's enough... Uh, place on top so I don't know what could be the issue here although this one is covered on top these were covered on top but they grew but maybe that's different for different berries somebody said that maybe these berries don't grow because they are next to running water or flowing water I don't think that's a problem uh, to be honest but it might be it might be obviously these grew uh, although these are next to flowing water right and then these are not next to flowing water and they don't grow. I don't think that's the case. But you never... That's such a tiny dog. Look at that tiny pupper. Did we catch it? I don't think so. Oh, we j Oh, never mind. <laughs> once again, I was like, oh no, we messed up the EVs. But we'll, we'll breed this one once more anyway. So, who cares? Who cares? Oh, wait, we, we have it now. We can go ahead and do that. Let's set this up before we mess around with the berry bushes. Let's set up our next breeding pair. So I want to have the Jolly Nature. Um, and to transfer the nature, we use the Everstone. Is that correct? I think it is. I think the Everstone was for nature and not for ability. I don't think you can pass on an ability by choice. Right? Only the nature. So we'll have to get a jolly natured male shroomish. Um, wait, this one is... Didn't pay attention. Um, this one's a male. And it's a jolly nature. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, wait. It's an 80% chance that the... Uh, nature of the mother will get passed on, right? And this one's calm. Okay, to clear up my confusion, if we give an Everstone to the Pokemon with the right nature, that will get passed on. But I was um, confusing it with was the ability, and the ability of the female Pokemon, uh, the, the ability of the female Pokemon has an 80% chance to be passed on. I confused that again. That keeps happening. So all we need is a 
shroomish, uh, a male shroomish with the right nature. We'll give it that. Uh, this guy gets the um, Everstone. This guy gets the Destiny Nod, and then we'll have possibly the thing that we want. Um, you have the Destiny Nod, correct? Um, which is yours, correct? <laughs> Um, three perfect IVs. I would say that is correct. So you go there, and then you get an Everstone. And I have three of those. Here you go. Your Everstone. You go over there. And, oh, we'll need um, these. Need that. And some dirt, which should be that chest. There we go. Switch out the wall. We'll have the full place filled with seeds. And all we have to do is to set out these two shroomishes. They should be madly in love with one another. Yep, false madly in love with shroomish every single day. Perfect. And this shall go its way. Uh, let's have this stuff up here again. At the House of the Nine Tails. Hello. Nine. Nine. Let's put that thing in there, that thing in there. We'll take this thing out. That belongs somewhere else. Put the dirt up into here. And we'll go through there. So, next Pokemon we'll have a look at is our Blaziken. I want. I'm pretty sure I want to use the Mega Blaziken just because it's cool. Uh, in, in case I actually did do get to fight in the in the tournament. Um, uh, yeah, I want to use the Mega Blaziken. So we should have a look if our Blaziken is a good level for that. It is a good level for that. What was its stat? It has special attack up, which is awesome. And it doesn't have speed down, which is good too. Um, it has Pokerus, which is nice. Let's check its... I these what the, is it holding? It is holding a power lens for special attack, I think. What that is. Um Right. Let's do slash IVs six. It has terrible IVs. Terrible IVs. But we will be rolling with it. How are the EVs? Um, okay. Pretty bad, too. Well, I mean, special attack EVs are completely filled. As they should be, thanks to the power lens. You don't need that anymore, I guess. What else should we give it? Probably speed, right? So the internet has told me that Blaziken for Mega Blaziken would like to have full attack IVs and full speed IVs. Um, EVs, that is. We went for special attack EVs and... I think I'll keep the special attack EVs for now. I'll just, we'll just leave those alone. However, we'll um, lower everything that we have barriers for except for speed and then um, fill speed up as much as we can. Now, um, which barriers do we actually have? I have them all in here. I, I have them all in... I moved them, so they're, they're, they're probably probably down here. We have the Pumic Berries, which lower HP, which is what we want to do. Quailot Berries, which lower defense, which is what we want to do. And the Kelpsy Berries lower attack. Now, we shouldn't want to do that, but uh, since we have plus special defense, uh, special attack. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Let's actually have a look at the moves. Thunder Punch is physical, physical, physical. Oh, what's <laughs> it, it only knows physical attacks. And we're really high on special attack. That sucks. Can it learn special attack attacks? <laughs> because that stat is higher. Should we try to get that? Let's see what happens if we get Blaziken, it's Blaziken Knight. There it is. Give this thing to you, we'll send it out. And just 
let's have another look. Blaziken stats. Let's try to to memorize those. And then we do Mega Evolution. And we'll have another look at the stats. I haven't changed yet. Bam. There it is. Yeah, it does look a little weird. But in general, it's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. Okay, stats. Um, special attack is still its highest, but attack really shot up there too. So... We probably should still go for, for attack EVs. Let's see, we have more. Uh, let's see, our Combuskin has an adamant nature, which ups the attack. I mean, since it doesn't know any special attack moves, this would be perfect, wouldn't it? It still is real speedy. Its low defense sets are not touched, but its attack, like its, its main stat, gets boosted. And we can throw a bunch of EVs into speed as well. So I think this one's actually good. And we shouldn't be too sad about losing our Combuskin, since I'm pretty sure I have another one. I mean, we have another Torchic, which has a lonely nature. And I think I ha caught another Combuskin at some point. Oh, look, another Torchic. With a naughty nature. And uh, what else? We have another one. That's the one we just had a look at, right? I thought I caught a Combuskin sometime. Can't find it. The internet tells me it should have a naughty or an adamant nature, just like our Combuskin over here. So, uh, Blaziken, you're out. Alright, we'll use the other one. Here, give me that. Go into there. Oh, look, it, it, it now looks like the, the Mega Blaziken. How cool is that? Um, we take out our Combuskin. Let's have a look at its EVs. It's fresh. Oh, how good. How good is that? Here, let's take this thing. Turn it off. And it wants attack and speed. We can do that. The Blaziken Knight back in here. All our mega stones go into there. And I guess we can go and start EV training our Combuskin. Let's start with attack, but before we do that, let's take the berries that are not growing and plant them in a different place. Is that a Mega Houndoom? You know I cannot pass this up, right? Legendary Houndoom boss. Houndoom boss. Oh, we're fighting this for sure. It's so Mega Evolution and Sleep Powder. See if we can get some good hits in. It's our reaction to the Keystone, as it does, Mega Venusaur. Uh, takes a hit. Okay, now Doom falls asleep. Now, Petal Dance won't, will not be very effective, but it will still do a lot of damage. I hope. One round. Two round. Three round. Ooh. Okay, Venusaur is now confused. So let's get... Venusaur out, get Tyranitar in there. And do a Earthquake. And if the Earthquake goes through, that should be it. Yep, very effective. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me. Oh my god! <laughs> and that is why you kill all the Mega Bosses that you can find. Oh boy. Do 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 do. That one goes into here. Something flies out of my end chest. How about the 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 um this thing? For the grappa berries, how about we just we'll get all of these. They should they should drop one. They definitely should drop one if we break them. They're dropping nothing. What? That's not how it's supposed to work. Huh? Why are these just breaking? I guess we'll just remove them and replant them and then we'll see what happens. 
So, the best thing for berries is to be planted into watered and, uh, like, in, in, into wet farmland. Just like this stuff. We'll ensure that they don't lose one berry yield per growth stage. Now, um, I've set them up in two rows because I want to cover up one of the rows with blocks on top to block their access to skylight. And then we'll just see what grows and what doesn't. I mean, these are now only 12 berries within one chunk. There shouldn't be any other plants that are competing with that. So we should be all good. Let's take netherrack, so I'll make sure to remove it fast. We will bolt the cover up over there, and now we wait. We'll, we'll see what happens. Let's start training our combuskin. I had a look, and uh, we will have a pretty easy time training for attack EVs, it looks like. And we probably shouldn't have you first, though, probably, in case we get randomly attacked. Um, all the Nid male Nidoran evolutions, so Nidoran male, the Nidorino, and Nido King all give attack EVs, the ones that we want. Um, also, Growlithe and Arcanine give um, attack EVs, which we'll have a bunch of them around as well. Also, Ekans and Arbok will give attack EVs, so we're pretty much golden. Let's um, have a look. We have gained nothing so far. How do we not have gained any EVs from that? You fought twice. What the hell? Let's try again. There. That need ran. Flame charge. Oh, you also didn't gain any XP. Leveling is enabled, though. Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Whoops. That's odd. How did... I mean, I'm receiving the items. It didn't seem like it's uh, gaining any experience or EVs, though. Maybe I should reload. Let's try again. Okay. It... Didn't... Gain any XP again. Let me relog. For some reason, the server wouldn't let me log back in after that. So I have restarted my game. Let's try this again. We need our Combuskin to be in the fight. Uh, Growler should give us attack EVs. We have killed it. I didn't pay attention to the XP. But if we now do slash EVs 2, it has gained 20 attack EVs. Well, it was a strong Growlithe. So, I guess... Nah, that doesn't add up. With with the Power Bracer, it should have gotten more. If all of the other ones counted. Oh, that's right. I'm on Venusaur. There we go. Now I'm Combuskin. Let's get ourselves some more pokes so we can fight. Not that one. Um, I saw that also... Doduo and Dodrio also give uh, attack EVs, so pretty much <laughs> almost every anything that spawns in the savannah over here gives us the right EVs. So we should be good on that. Let's check again. And it's not updating. Hmm. Maybe it just doesn't update in real time? That's odd. I thought it should. My connection bad. It's not the best, but it's not that bad. I don't get it. I mean, I'll just go ahead and I'll fight some more. And, uh... We'll see what happens. There's another one. That is the third Mega Blaziken in, like, I don't know, a few days. That's super odd. Let's quickly heal. Uh, I don't know what kind of EVs that get it gets, so we'll just uh, get our Combuskin. Back into here, you chill. Um, we we'll need Donphan for sure. Let's get our Tyranitar. As soon as I find it. I can never find my Tyranitar. There it is. And we'll also take our legendaries. Let's take Entei for fire. And that one because it's strong. Ah, 
okay. Um, let's let's do this the same way we approach the Mega Helm Doom. How cool would it be if I get another Master Ball here? We'll send out our Venusaur first. Do Mega Evolution and Sleep Powder. And we just hope that we get it to fall asleep right away and we don't just die one hit, which could definitely happen with this guy. Because he's a sweeper. Pretty good looking one. Just Fire Punch, super effective. It avoided the attack and its speed was boosted. We are in for a rough dance. Why are Tyranitar and Entei damaged already? Did I not heal them? Guess I didn't. Let's start with Earthquake. Double kick, shouldn't kill it. Oh, does Sturdy not work with double kick because it's two attacks? Oh, that's dirty. That is super dirty. I think we'll have to do this again. Let's try again. Same thing, Mega Evolution, Sleep Powder, and we'll just hope we'll get it to fall asleep first turn. We'll then switch out to Tyranitar and try Stone Edge or Earthquake or whatever. Critical hit, super effective, whatever. You sleep. Okay, it's it's asleep. Uh, we gotta deal the most amount of damage. I think that is Tyranitar with Earthquake. I mean, Stone Edge will probably do more damage, but it will also it also has a very small chance of actually hitting. So let's do Earthquake. Sleeping used Earthquake. Almost half health. It's a good start. Let's do another one. Critical hit. It's in the red, and Sandstorm might actually kill it next turn. Let's do another one. Okay, Tyranitar fainted, but Sandstorm has killed Mega Blaziken. And we got a Lustrous Orb, and the Rare Candy. Not the best Mega Boss loot, but loot that I will definitely take. Guess what spawned while EV training? Another Tornadus. I already have one, but you will be damn sure that I'll at least try to get it. I don't have that many Pokeballs on me. I have some Ultra Balls, some Dusk Balls, and one Repeat Ball um, that I got from my pickup a fans that I was having around while EV training. So let's let's try our hands on Tornadus once again. Uh, I don't think we've killed one of these before. We caught one of those before. I think we killed... Actually, I think we killed a Tornadus before. We definitely killed a Thunderous before as well. Let's do the thing with Mega Evolution and Sleep Powder. We've seen that one before, this episode. It's level 70, so there's a high chance that we could actually kill it if we were to just attack it. Um, It's asleep. That's good. I don't know its moveset. Uh, we could check it with ours. Well... Possibility. Let's send out our Zangoose and actually heal us. I probably could have healed our Zangoose beforehand, but let's do that now. And then do a false swipe. Woke up. Doesn't affect us. Alright. Wow. One hit. Not good. Okay, I don't want to send out Venusaur already because I want to use Venusaur to make it fall asleep. Don't want to kill it. Let's send out Tornadus and see what it has. It has Swagger, Hammer Arm, so fighting type moves. Um, I'm gonna guess it's fighting type then. And should we do Hammer Arm? Oh, I think it's actually a pretty strong move, but that, they're the same level, right? This won't kill it, right? Okay, it's not that bad. Let's try again. Stop with the Astonish, dude. Okay. Oh, that's a strong move. Let's get one more. We didn't get it off. This guy is definitely faster than ours. Is that low enough for starting with Pokeballs? I'd say so. Give it a Sleep Powder. It has fallen asleep. Let's... What do we start with? It is getting dark. Um, let's start with the repeat ball because we already have one. How funny would that be to catch a legendary in a repeat ball? Not a wiggle? Oh. <laughs> that was close. That would have been fun though. Um, Dusk ball. It is getting nighttime. I uh, don't see the ball. Oh, well, 
That was pretty fast. Let's try again. Pokeball, Dusk Ball. Bam. There you go. Command Nix. Oh no, it's confused. It hurt itself in confusion. Please just fall asleep again. Oh no. Oh no. Don't kill yourself, dude. I have a better home for you. Oh. It killed itself. Ah. That sucks. I have been training my Plazikin with Pokemon that give attack IVs, and I gave it the Power Anklet, which gives speed I, uh, EVs, not IVs, EVs. And it now has, as you can see, full speed EVs because of the health item and attack. EVs are almost full as well. We can fill them up together. Should go pretty fast. And after that, we'll have a look if we have another egg and how the berries are progressing. Um, we got one more egg from the uh, shroomish farm, but um, that one was no good. One of the perfect EVs did not, or perfect IVs did not get uh, transferred. So. Um, I'm waiting for another one. Waiting for another one. Uh, my phone is going crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know where it is, but it's really loud to me. I hope you can't hear that. Uh, let's see. How far did we go? Almost done. One more fight. Should do it. Uh, let's see. Growlithe. There we go. Fight me. Uh, scratch. There we go. Uh -huh. And it is full. Awesome. Now, um, I forgot what the uh, under six EVs are supposed to be. Don't think they matter too much, so we're not gonna bother with them now. Um, I'd probably put them in I don't know HP or something like that. Not special attacks, since that's the one that we don't need. Maybe defense. Maybe HP. We'll see. For now, let's head back, see if we have a good egg for us waiting. Let's do this to speed up the process. Uh, my pickup offense gave me a bunch of stuff, like two binding bands, apparently. A cell battery? I have no idea what that thing does, like what we use this thing to craft for. Um, no idea. No idea. But uh, the pickup offense is definitely working. Can't wait to have all of them trained to the max. So we don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need the egg. Uh, don't need that or that, don't need that, don't need the fish, don't need the leather. We got a lot of food. And I'll keep the rest. Alright. Shroomish, what are you doing? What are you guys doing over here? You got another one for me? Shroomish. You should. Uh huh. All right. Let's quickly hatch this one. Hatch this one, not hatch. <laughs> uh, just one of those things that I apparently cannot say. I'll go over to Ethel's place, sit down on the roller coaster. That is the easiest way of doing things. So looking at things, it seems like the um IVs that we get are not even close to what they should be. It has the perfect attack IVs. Um, no, it has perfect defense IVs. But it should also have perfect attack IVs or perfect speed IVs. At least one of the two. Since only one of the IVs should not be transferred. So I have the feeling I gave the... Um, the, 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 the Destiny Nod to the wrong Pokemon. I'll have to go and have a look at that and probably fix it. But that will be a tale for another episode. The saga of the Shroomish will continue. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, I'm making an outro, I'm doing an outro on uh, Ethos Place. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode video stream. Whatever it will be. And until then, see ya.